What's up, YouTubers? How y'all doing? Okay, you see my skillet getting ready to go. I'm going to do a steak stir fry. Okay, my steak is already done here in the crock pot, sitting up juicing and marinating here and all the spices and seasonings. I started this last night and then I stored it in the refrigerator last night, took it out and finished it on this morning. Got my rice already ready to go. Okay, so I'm getting ready to spray my pan here with this Pam olive oil. How y'all doing today? It is Saturday. It's beautiful outside. Um, we're here in Michigan. Y'all let me know where y'all at. <laughs> you can leave it in the comments. Okay. Now I'm going to uh, turn up the heat here and get ready. I have frozen stir fry brin here. Ugh, tongue twist. Stir fry blend. <laughs> and we're getting it ready. So okay. And as soon as... Um, my um oil spray heats up here. I'm going to put this in and stir fry it up. And actually, uh, once I get it to a nice caramelization, it'll be ready to go. I'm going to keep everything separate. Um, the rice will go down on the plate first. Then the stir fry on top of the rice. And then the meat. I'm going to keep it here in the crock pot because that's how uh, I just want to keep it marinated in its own juices so I don't want to combine them but they will be uh, combined added together on the plate yes 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 so just waiting on a good heating to come on yes 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 and in this blend it already has the snap peas the broccoli um, the bell peppers uh, and the carrots already in. Um, so there's no onions in here. And I'm just going to keep it like that because, and the reason why I am going to keep it like it is, is because my meat here in the crock pot already is um, seasoned with onions, bell peppers. There's seasonings. There's things already in here marinated in its own juices. Okay. So just waiting on to get a nice little heat. But anyway, it's Saturday. It's a beautiful day outside. And of course, stay home safe. Stay safe. Um, is what we are doing. Um, we only go out for essentials, which I've really limited that to a bare minimal because um, I'm going to start doing a lot of ordering online. I'm sure some of you, a lot of you are already doing that. And so me as well, um, because um, I, I am uh, my mother's full-time caregiver and I have to really you see how the bubbles. Okay, see that? Um, and so, um, you know, I have to really protect myself and my mother. Um, and so I know a lot of you, you know, with families, you have children at home, you have your spouses. Um, a lot of you care for your parents. You know, you have to uh, be extra precautious because you, you, you take care of other people. So let's turn that up a little more. And as I wave my hand around and I'm feeling for it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead toss it in all right it's talking to me giving me a nice fizzle here and again when you stir fry um your vegetables you don't want to get them to they are just limp um you don't want to um cook all the vitamins out you don't want to get them that way you just want to get them to a nice caramelization And you want to make sure you use a high heat. You don't want them just uh, sitting in here cooking like all day. Okay. So we're getting it in. Getting it in, getting it in. because they are frozen so they have um, that containment of water from just being frozen so you know you have to use a really high heat in order to be able to get the heat through them due to them being frozen and having the containment of water okay so so far so good all that steam <laughs> And the Commodore. Yes, but anyway, you know, you just have to make the most um, of a situation. You know, try not to 
focus so much on the bad, you know, try to look at the good in the situation um, as well. You know, um, it is terrible, you know, with, with what's going on. But, you know, we just got to keep our heads up. We got to keep it moving, you know. And during this time, you know, like in some of my previous videos, while I've given you ideas, um, cleaning ideas, um, just start thinking of things, you know. Start finishing some things that you started, like those home product projects. Um, shoot, some of you been wanting to write a book. Shoot, write that book. You know, get that book started. Um, it's so much you can get done during this time because you have to stay in the house. You know, we have to stay safe. You know, um, safeguard ourselves and our families as well. Okay, this is looking really good. And as you can see, the water from the containment here from being frozen. So it's going quite well. I'm going to let it go a little more. And you know, while you're doing your stir fry, you can also taste. And you can, mm -hmm, mm, well, that's pretty good, but it's not quite there yet. You want to keep it going. Okay, I'm going to let that go. Okay, I'm going to stop stirring so much and, and stop disturbing it. Because what I wanted to do is to go ahead and go. And go ahead and let that heat distribute through before I touch it again with the tongs. Look at that nice. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. That's what's up. See, that's what we want right there. Mm-hmm. Yes, hunty. Yes, hunty. Mm hmm that's what you want. That's what you want. Okay, now. Mm-hmm. And so I grab little small portions. Ah. Oh, it's getting there, baby. Mm-hmm. I just watched my daughter's um home birth video. Shout out to my daughter Tierra Anthony of TT3 TV. Honey, she did the dang thing. She did not holler one time. She was so quiet, I don't know how she did it. But I thank the Lord for giving her the strength. I pray and ask God to give her a speedy delivery with no complications. And God did just that. And I'm so thankful. So thankful to him for blessing her with a speedy delivery and no complications. All right. It's right where I need it to be. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. Oh, yes, yeah, honey. It don't take all day to do this. Not at all. Not at all. And so now I'm going to get some rice. We are ready. And I thank you all for your viewing support, subscribing to my channel. I thank you so very much. Thank you. I'm going to get some rice here and plate it up. Let me get a little more. Go ahead and plate that up. Kind of got to hit it off. You know how that rice can get kind of sticky. Okay. I'm very much into presentations. Let me move that in. I like a beautiful plate. Okay, now I'm going to get some. A little bit of everything. Some peas. And we're going to put it right on top of the rice there. That's what we want. Let's get some broccoli here. And let's put that right on top. And let's get some bell peppers. Some yellow bell peppers. Let's put a little bit more. I like color. Okay, there we go. There we go. And so now, last but not the least. Huh? Um, okay, I'm going to go to the meat. I'm going to take my tongs and just kind of stir it around a little bit. Yeah, you're gonna, it can break up and all that because it's pretty much falling apart on its own. Previously, I had it on a cutting board and I sliced it into strips and then I put it back in there okay but now create some space here all right get my plate and I'm gonna get some meat and put it right kind of side view it can be side it can be on top but I just like to show off the colors just like that Okay, and then for juice, I'm a juice girl. I love juice. I love broth. I just want some broth. 
Take that and you drizzle it right on top. Take some more. Drizzle it right on top. You can also use a soup ladle and do this as well. Uh-huh. And look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. And those of you who um, are vegetarians, um, you just you can prepare this without the meat. Simple as that. I'm gonna taste. Let me get some taste here. Get some of the rice and get some vegetables and a little bit of meat. A little combination of each. Ah, it's falling apart here. Mmm. That is delicious. It's very flavorful. The textures are married well together. It is absolutely delicious. Mm-hmm. Steak stir fry. It is very simple. Um, something you can prepare. I prepared mine in parts. You can prepare it all together if you want. Um, and I did um, the crock pot for my meat because I wanted a nice succulent meat, a nice juiciness in my meat, a nice marinated meat. It's wonderful. Try it. It's simple, it's easy, and it is very nutritious. All right, YouTubers, how y'all doing?